Thank you. Uh, before we get to the germ zapping robot, I think it's worthwhile that people know that this is not your first venture by any means. Rackspace hosting, Curtis publishing, give us a little idea of your background. Uh, started as a lawyer. Uh, you're familiar with that, and uh, started a legal publishing company that was Curtis Hill Publishing Company that was bought by West Publishing. Then we started Rackspace Hosting with literally four people, $4,000 a month in revenue. That company it does over a billion dollars in revenue and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. This is the most important company we've ever started. Why go after this market? What makes this such a compelling business idea for you? So my father's a physician trained at the Mayo Clinic. My uncle's a physician trained at the Mayo Clinic. So I've grown up around this medicine. When I was presented the idea by the two founders, Mark Stibick and uh, Dr. Julie Stahoy, both of them are doctors, PhDs from Johns Hopkins, they explained what the robot had the potential to do. We weren't sure. And when you think about nosocomial infections if infecting 2 million Americans a year, killing 100,000, it's the fourth leading killer, more than breast cancer, AIDS, and car accidents combined. It was an opportunity to really step into something that could make a difference for all Americans. Okay, you step into this situation. Tell us the details about the actual robot. I know that they are named. I was told that they are named, and the one that you brought here today is called Ray. Ray. So the hospitals themselves will choose what they want the host, the the, the robot to be called. Uh, literally, their choice. Well, they're paying for it. I guess they can call it anything they want. Absolutely. Um, the robot itself has a xenon lamp. We're the only company that makes a xenon-based uh, robot. Xenon is an inert, non-toxic gas. Uh, you may know that mercury bulbs have been around. They have disinfecting uh, capabilities for 100 years, but they're very slow, very slow. This is ultra-fast. When it pulses, it's 25,000, 25,000 times brighter than sunlight, and it can disable the DNA of bacteria, viruses, and spores. That's how it could work against Ebola. That's how it works against the, the serious hospital-associated infections every single day. Cost. Uh, cost. $104,000 for the robot. When a patient looks at it or when a hospital looks at it, they can look at it as $1 per patient day. So very low cost to have a disinfected environment that can actually keep you safe. What about manufacturing? Where is this all being done? So it's all made in uh, San Antonio, Texas. We have about 90 people that make the robots and then sell the robots. And really from you know, the hospital's point of view, we're excited about it because even at our current price point, if they prevent three infections that cost on average $25,000 an infection, it's paid for the robot for the year, and they can typically do that in the first or second month. Does it take any special training in order to operate this? We send a team out to the hospital. Typically, they're buying somewhere between 2 and 12 of the devices. So we send an implementation team out. We train their housekeepers. These housekeepers in the hospitals, for the first time, they become heroes because they're the ones who are actually preventing the infection. Administration enables them. Infectious disease doctors say, do it, and then they save the lives. Have you gotten a lot of calls because of the Ebola virus outbreak? We, we have. Uh, fortunately, as a virus, it's very easy for us to kill a virus. It takes about 90 seconds for us to kill Ebola in an, in an environment. Everybody's very concerned about it. It's really MRSA, C. diff, VRE, and uh, other, 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 viruses. other viruses that are the concern. And, and, and more importantly, these viruses, if you let them infect patients, then they need antibiotic treatment then the viruses can evolve and become resistant. So MRSA is methicillin-resistant staph, VRE, vancomycin-resistant staph. By treating the environment in advance and stopping the infection, doctors don't need to use the antibiotics, and you stop this cycle of superbugs. Does your mother really still wish that you turned out to be a doctor? I think she's pretty happy right now. I would imagine so. Yeah. What about investors? Uh, investors are very happy. We're in 250 hospitals. Uh, there's 5,000 hospitals in the United States. So, you know, while we're happy that UCLA and Stanford and uh, MD Anderson, Mass General, have, have, have purchased it and, and all the others, th there's so much work to do. 278 people die every day, and we can stop it. We can absolutely stop it, and, and it gets us up every morning to try to do that.